So here's how I feel. Photo booth, I'm kind of already sick of this shit exactly. Uh, maybe I just gotta enable the screen to flash this how I do not check, no, uncheck that is how I felt. And then just fucking start recording is how I do need to feel, and that's excellent. So maybe problem solved. Either way, I'm gonna make a new one because basically, that's just basically how fucky this shit is. It's not, it's gonna be for me as I'm hoping to feel. But it will not be that difficult. Huh, <laughs> exactly, I don't really fucking know how to play back and forth. This is fuck. I'm gonna make a list of, of shit that needs to be taken care of in the world. And here's what I'm gonna start to film. It's like videos, it's like audio editing. And maybe we need to like, you know, I figured out what I needed. But the reality is, it's not all there, it's not there. And so yes, I need to be able to do MP3 file trimming, but also be able to recover MP3 files a corrupted master file table so do mp3 file carving foremost and there was another one that was related to foremost I forget what it was called they almost did it as I felt but I would have to do a little bit more almost maybe we write a small like a slightly different program as possible but I'm not really sure so all you kind of need is like a fingerprint for like an mp3 file because it's just a small container but it might have like the, the thing with the mp3 files is that container can be split into frames and put all over the hard disk and if that information is not somewhere then I guess it's all scrambled and lost so that's pretty much the difficulty with mp3 is what I heard, but that's really not a problem in my situation, I need to feel my duty to have mp3 file recovery, and I think that there are some options for me that I think I can do better than what they're doing for me, because I know that, I know what is there and it's, you know what I'm saying, and when you get to that point and maybe you have like your drive that you only use for mp3s, you know that the only data on there is MP3s. So if that crashes, you can you have to just figure out how to figure out what everything is or whatever, right? If we save like another method of backing up, say like the master file tree, then um, you know pretty much taking a backup of that periodically or every time, or maybe like kind of synchronizing like the, that tree with like some place in between computers through that through that ability to do it online that you're sharing that, that information and you can share it to another computer as well but I think the technology is just kind of not there yet and it doesn't really know how to feel about everything yet it's pretty much how we need to feel is that they have done a good job of kind of like cleaning everything up, it's doing okay. But that they basically are gonna figure out in some of these situations I find myself in all the time, like so constantly is that I find myself in it, that I just basically, nothing works for me. So, I need to figure out how it feels about that, except for that part of it is money, a small amount of money is possible. Sometimes large sums of money, and we have no clue apart what's not for you still. <clears throat> but at the same time, I'd be willing to spend four hundred dollars on something like propeller head reason the full version, or Ableton, or FL Studio, or something like that. Um, the reality is I don't have it yet, but I have the essentials, so I can play the piano. And that will work, but it's kind of large. It's a sixty-one key axiom M audio. So it's kind of just like, damn, in the back of here, I just honestly don't want to feel sick. I'm having problems just staying awoke. And it doesn't, you know, it was like, there was like a period of my life of like probably a little while, like where if people had cared about me, maybe I would have had a better opportunity in every way. But the 
reality is like they just kind of just don't know how to fix it the walls are closed in. And now we're in the trash compactor or whatever. And now we have to escape. So, seriously, this fuck though. We're actually like trying to figure out how to feel about all this fucking junk in the shed. By my mom and dad's place. I was just gonna send all the goodwill. But I pretty much didn't get around to that. Today's Monday. Well, I guess it's two in the morning, so I guess it's Tuesday. I don't have to work until Saturday. Isn't that great? And then um, I'll enjoy that. But I might want to go by there on Friday, maybe because it's really nice on Fridays too. Fridays and Saturdays. Cool place. That's kind of how I almost need to feel is that I have more people in my life. But that I don't really know how you're going to start to feel. But what people will do is, is how we start to feel. If they need something, true. I need things, true. And that's kind of where I'm starting to debate. That's what I'm saying, though. I don't really know how fucked up it just is for me to, and somebody in my chat. They don't really know the reality. The reality is just like I, I cannot make enough money right now to do much of what I need it really is what you're gonna feel. But the probation wants like two over two thousand dollars like in ten days or a bunch of fucking possibilities is what they're saying. They probably wanna take all my money, like I will still owe them money. And that will not even believe how pissed off I'm gonna be about how much money I didn't even get to receive or control it in any way. But the reality's still the same if they get any money. I haven't even been paying. <laughs> Serious as hell. So basically, that's pretty much how I can feel too that I don't really need to worry. Except for fuck you, as I feel about it. Fuck you, as I feel about this for me. You just don't have to feel about this except for this was for me, in a way. It's like going into the Marines, except for they give you a fucking kick in the ass. And they fucking say, we don't know how much of a job we will ever give you anymore. For a lot of things. And you don't really even fucking know how much we're going to know about you. How they feel. If you're a bad person or whatever the fuck it is that we're worried about, I guess, huh? It's like, no, it's like the fad to become a murderer or a rapist or a serial killer or some shit. Is it true? People just don't want to really feel about it for themselves in a way about how good it doesn't feel. About how much more you need to feel and how much more you to do. How much more profit can it does make people in a real way to care about others? They will just figure out. They'll figure out how good that is. How fucked up they kind of get. I just don't know how to really feel about how fucked up they're being with somebody. The whole bunch of them, yeah. Everyone kind of like that. It's like everybody, like. It's like all of a sudden everyone's gonna realize. All these people we're all trying to be, like idols and stuff like that. We didn't really know how powerful none of this shit was going to be for us in a real way with higher entities. Like, really, like, it's been working. Yeah, they don't really know how much they're not shining still. But that they basically don't know how good it still isn't to you. That you basically don't know how good it isn't to another person that pretty much does care about that shit in a way that you'll start to feel that they're here to tell me something that's kind of how I felt too but anyways I just honestly don't know what I feel about this and not saying but basically here's what I said to film I'm not saying very much either I'm talking real slow real slow it's like, yeah, I'm happy, right? I'm happy? No, not really. Not really. You want to know the real truth? It's like I've been shoved into a fucking old box. And that's pretty much all you need to do for the rest of your life. And that's what they want for you. And they, you were never like that. You were actually a person that was very intelligent. You were a gift to the talented students. That's how you should feel. And they decided, well, you know what? We're poop dick. We wanted to take his power for some reason, somehow. So we couldn't really come up with a reason. So 
So they keep trying to kind of do shit to him, but basically, the reality is that we're going to take that power anyways. And then we basically don't fucking give a fuck about him. That's basically it. Now we're going to figure out how to shut him up for good. And this is how we feel about him. You're, you don't even know I'm going to feel better be a funny person. I'm going to start dancing monkey because I'm going to tell you about fucking hell. I don't really know how much more I need to hear from you, but way more. Otherwise, I'm going to start to feel that you don't really care about me. And if that were true, I have no clue at all how I'm going to feel by a I have no reason to feel that I should care for you. The reality is, you're killing me. You really just don't even give a fuck about my life. It's so fucking hard. I just don't know how to really feel about how powerful you want this. I basically you don't really know how powerful things gotta get. It's how we do feel. I fucked up. I've been by this shit in a way that I have no clue how to really feel for it. Except for that people have no clue how powerful they are not gonna be anymore. That they basically do not know how fucked up they're not feeling yet. By that is how they're feeling. But don't know how to really feel about what happens when you fuck with the killer bee. And that's how you should feel. It's like, boom, tank, clang. It's like, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna fucking kill the motherfuckers. So I'm gonna figure out.